This is the perfect dish for a weeknight because it's 1 p.m., no mess, and it comes together in just 30 minutes. Hey friends, Natalia here with Mom's Dish. I am so happy to have you here again for another week of recipes. And this one is the perfect Mom's Dish. It's a dish for every single mom, comes together in one pan, beef and broccoli. Your kids will eat vegetables in this dish, I guarantee you. It's amazing, so let's get started. Here are the ingredients. We have some sauce ingredients here. We have hot water, toasted sesame oil, cornstarch, brown sugar, and low sodium soy sauce, and just a few cloves of garlic for that flavoring of garlic. <laughs> and then we have pre-chopped broccoli. Bite-sized pieces are perfect some beef and oil for cooking, that's all. And now we're gonna combine the sauce together. I have the water already in this jar, and then we'll add the oil, soy sauce, more starch, and brown sugar. This garlic. You need to smash it first to peel it. Probably the easiest way to peel garlic. Get all the anger out. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and press it in here. And now whisk it up until the sugar dissolves and the cornstarch kind of gets all smoothly added in here. There's no lumps. And we are done. We'll set this aside. Now I'm gonna be pre-slicing beef. What I did with beef is I actually froze it for about 30 minutes to make it much easier for slicing. I'm using flank. You can use any favorite steak that you have. As long as you can slice it really thinly, that's all that you need to do in this recipe. So because I pre-froze it, that makes it so much easier for slicing. So let's get into the slicing part. Hopefully it didn't stick to the plate. Oh no, it's good. So mine is not fully frozen, but it's but it's hard. So it'll make it much easier for slicing. And slice it as thin as you possibly can into bite-sized pieces. Another tip for cutting for you is always cut against the grain. So here's the grain. This is how it's going in flank. But any cut of beef that you get, always cut it against the grain. And then this is how I will be cutting it. So I'll be chopping it this way. This way you get those smooth, even bites. When you bite into it, it's not gonna be a chewy piece of beef, but it's gonna be really nice in texture. Let's finish this up. You will need to get a large skillet. That way you don't overcrowd the ingredients. And we are gonna preheat this with a tablespoon of oil to medium high heat. Just like this. My skillet is preheated, I can feel it already. We're gonna add broccoli. You're gonna hear the sound. Listen to this. I'm gonna toss it in and brown it lightly on all the sides. I don't like to overcook broccoli. I just like to brown it on each side. You want that crunch, and we're still gonna cook it a little more with the beef. So just until it, go it has golden brown sides. The broccoli is nice and golden. I'm gonna remove it to the same bowl that I used earlier. And it's one pan dish, no mess. You're gonna use the same skillet for beef as well. And I love that about this dish because mom life, you know it. Nobody wants to do a lot of dishes or have a messy kitchen after dinner. So this is a great school night dinner or like work life dinner. Now we're gonna use the same pan and add beef in here. And you don't wanna overcrowd the pan. So if you need to use two pans or just do one portion at a time. The beef is getting nice and golden on the edges and that's what you want, but you don't want to dry it out. So we're gonna add sauce to this in just one second. Let me just toss this a little bit. And that sauce that you prepared at the beginning is when you add it. Just gonna stir this up just a little bit. Mm. 
Nice. So the sauce will thicken up probably in a minute or two as it cooks down with beef and the aroma in here is amazing. Now I'm going to add broccoli into the mix and allow it to sizzle just a little bit more until the sauce gets a little golden. Cover the broccoli with the saucy goodness and beef. And if your sauce gets thickened up, you can add a little bit more of soy sauce or a little bit of hot water. That's totally fine. You want the juicy sauce still in a mix. You guys, the dish came together so beautifully. I love the saucy beef and broccoli. And the best way to serve it with some rice. I have some white rice here. You can serve it with brown rice, whatever your preference is. And some saucy beef and broccoli on top. So let's do that. Should do it faster. <laughs> you don't have all day for me. Just like this. And if you are leaving leftovers for the next day, just pack it up like this with some fries and beef and broccoli on top. Every hits beautifully all together. Well guys, it's a wrap for today. I am gonna go enjoy this. I hope you love this recipe and we will definitely see you next week again. Well, my YouTube friends, I have all the measurements down below for you. That way you can make this recipe at home. I hope you love it. Let us know in the comments and we will definitely see you next week. So do hit that bell button. That way you get notified. All right, bye.